the single most common cause of high blood pressure is a deficiency in the mineral magnesium. Really? Yeah. It's interesting how that works, right? You have two types of blood vessels in the human body. You have arteries and you have veins. And arteries carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood back to the heart. Well, what's the difference? Well, there's one significant difference between the two. Arteries have muscles. Veins do not. Well, why does an artery have muscle? Because God is smart. So when the heart pumps blood out of the heart, it goes into the artery, and the muscle in the artery constricts and relaxes in order to help the heart pump the blood. Fascinating mechanism, like a snake crawling down the street. The artery constricts and relaxes, constricts and relaxes in order to help the heart pump the blood. That's fantastic. Well, how does the muscle constrict and relax? The same way that a, a, a bicep constricts and relaxes, or any muscle in the body, it's done through magnesium and calcium. If you do not have enough magnesium, the muscle will constrict, but it cannot relax. So it stays constricted. Now, if you have a garden hose and there's water coming out of it, and you squeeze the hose just a little bit, the water comes out faster, right? Mm -hmm. It's because you've decreased the volume, the pressure goes up. So when the artery gets collapsed because of not enough magnesium, the blood pressure spikes. So you don't have high blood pressure because you have a circulatory system. You don't have high blood pressure because you have a bad gene. You don't have high blood pressure because you're getting older or because you have a voodoo curse. <laughs> you have high blood pressure because your body ran out of the stuff it needed to maintain proper blood pressure, period.